have you ever made a mistake? <laughs> have you ever felt like you just don't, you don't get it? You know, you, you've been talking to God and you've been going to church and reading your Bible and you study and you try to figure things out. And, you know, sometimes things get a little rough and a little tough and sometimes things get a little rocky and Sometimes you just can't figure it out. You just don't know what's wrong, you know. And you hear about all these huge ministries with thousands of people coming to the Lord daily. And man, you know, you're struggling just to keep yourself afloat. You hear about all these people with gifts and doing this, and doing that. And wow, miracles for God, you know. And you kind of go, but Lord... What am I doing? I don't feel like, you know, I'm all that gifted. <sighs> you ever had coffee? I mean, you know, seriously, really. Think about it for a minute. You ever had a good cup of coffee? You sit down, you know, and I'm sure for some of you, you go to Starbucks. God bless you. <laughs> But, you know, you go to some place that has, you know, like maybe an old Denny's or maybe an old Winchell's donut shop. There we going back. You see that old coffee pot sitting over there, you know, and waitress comes over and pours you a nice cup of coffee, you know, and pick up that thing. And uh, before you even get a chance to taste it, it just smells good. You just go, oh, man, that smells good. So then you just kind of like, you know, you don't want to burn your lips, you know, because you might need to kiss somebody or something. <laughs> you don't know where those lips are going to do next. They might bless somebody. But, uh, you know, you're very careful. So you kind of bring that cup up to your lips, you know, and you go blow a little bit on there so you don't burn yourself quite so bad. And you swallow it fast and it burns all the way down and you go, man, that's good. Haven't you ever had a cup of coffee like that? Oh, man, it's just, ah, tastes so good, doesn't it? And have you ever had a, another kind of cup of coffee where you kind of was in a hurry, you know, and you went home and you, you made a cup of coffee and you kind of dumped all the coffee in, you know, and you stuck it on a burner, you know, or whatever, coffee pot if you're perking it or, you know, a coffee press if you're pressing it or whatever you do with your coffee. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder what you do with your coffee. But then you go and you go, oh man, you know, I'm in a hurry and you just, ah, ew. that don't taste so good. So then you take another sip and you just keep drinking it and you get it down because you want the caffeine, you know, but you somehow it just doesn't taste so good. You know, so you you just kind of get, you know, a lot of coffee in, but just doesn't taste quite the same. Did you know that sometimes it's not about numbers, it's not about the quantity, but it's about the quality? Sometimes one good cup of coffee will stick with you for days where Half a dozen thrown together things take a lot of cream and a lot of sugar to make that thing taste good. And even then you go, Ugh. <laughs> what was in there? Oh man, that's terrible. Do you know that God feels that way about our work sometimes? Sometimes what you do or what you think you do just don't taste so good. <laughs> in fact, sometimes it don't smell so good. You know, God bless the huge evangelists, you know, that go out and do these marvelous crusades. But, you know, sometimes God looks down and says, you know, the follow-up isn't quite so good. Matter of fact, some of the stories I'm hearing, you know, from my angels telling me about what's going on in the lives of people after the crusades, it don't look so good. In fact, it don't smell so good. Sometimes it's not about the numbers, but it's about the quality of the work. Is your life, is your action today 
quantity of what you think you should do with God or quality? I wonder. Because, you see, God doesn't really care about the quantity because he could have saved everybody from the moment of creation. God doesn't care about the quality sometimes because he can purify and cleanse and by way of his Holy Spirit, you know, he can kind of like turn up the heat and you'll feel it. <laughs> Boy, will you feel it. But sometimes it's just about getting your attention to let you know, hey, it's not one of those I'm okay, you're okay books. It's one of those God loves you books. And that's the, all the difference in the world. You are my joy, God calling. Thine they were, and thou gavest them me, and they have kept your word. John 17, 6. Remember that just as you thank God for me, so I thank God for his gift to me of you. You are God's gift to me, Jesus. In that hour of my agony on earth, one note of joy thrilled through the pain. The thought of the souls given to me by my Father who had kept my word. Did you know that God is blessed simply because you believed? That's all. Just that you believed that Jesus died for you and that was enough. And God said, okay, and you got saved. Maybe that's all you need to do. Maybe you're trying to do too much sometimes. And you don't realize how much Jesus just loves you because you care, because you dare, because you are just surviving at times with him. Don't panic. Just praise him. They had not then done great deeds, even though they did those later, for in and my name. They were just simply doers of my word, not hearers only. They just did what they were told at the time they were told it. Just in their daily tasks and ways, they kept my word. You too can bring joy to my heart by faithful service. Faithful service in the little things. Be faithful. Do your simple tasks for me. Because you know, I can always find somebody to do the big tasks. They're a dime a dozen. They're always wanting some glory or fame or name or trying to take credit for what I've done. But you know, it's kind of hard to find somebody to clean them toilets and pick up them cigarette butts. Would you mind doing that for me? Would you mind being the servant? that I want you to be and do it by the quality of who you are, not the quantity of the work you think you have to do.